In the realm of manga, few titles capture the essence of dark fantasy as masterfully as Claymore. This epic saga, penned by Norihiro Yagi, first graced the pages of Monthly Shonen Jump in 2001. Its compelling narrative, striking artwork, and unforgettable characters quickly captivated readers, cementing its place as a modern classic. The series transitioned to the Seinen magazine Jump Square in 2007, embracing its mature themes and complex storytelling. In 2007, the acclaimed animation studio Madhouse brought Yagi's creation to life on the television screen. The anime adaptation, spanning 26 episodes, faithfully captured the dark beauty and visceral action of the manga. Claymore's enduring appeal lies in its exploration of profound themes, delving into the duality of humanity and monstrosity, the corrosive nature of power, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. Welcome fellow lore seekers to Anime Lore Unveiled. We're your one-stop destination for all things anime unraveling, the deepest mysteries, exploring darkest corners and revealing the hidden truths of anime characters and worlds. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on a journey into the unknown already a part of our community. Glad you could join us once again. Remember, your thoughts and theories are the lifeblood of our discussions, so we invite you to leave a comment below. Engage with us, challenge us, share your insights, and if you enjoy the ride, don't forget to Chidori, the like button, giving it that electrifying touch. The story of Claymore unfolds on an unnamed island shrouded in perpetual twilight. The island's inhabitants live in constant fear of the Yoma, malevolent creatures that can perfectly mimic human form. Yoma are cunning predators, capable of infiltrating human society and preying on the unsuspecting. They crave human flesh and souls, devouring their victim's essence to fuel their own monstrous power. The constant threat of Yoma attacks has plunged the island into a perpetual state of fear and paranoia. An enigmatic organization wages a secret war against the demonic threat, offering hope in the form of the Claymores female warriors genetically engineered to combat the Yoma menace. The Claymores are not welcomed with open arms. Their immense power and unsettling nature breeds suspicion and fear. The island's desolate landscapes and oppressive atmosphere reflect the bleakness of humanity's struggle against the Yoma. Ancient ruins serve as grim reminders of the ever-present threat, mirroring the sense of isolation and despair that pervades its inhabitants' lives. The Claymores, named for their signature oversized swords, are a testament to the desperate measures humanity has resorted to in its fight for survival. They are created through a gruesome process that blends human flesh with the essence of the Yoma they hunt. This fusion grants them superhuman strength, speed, agility, and enhanced senses. The creation process is shrouded in secrecy, overseen by the enigmatic organization that governs the Claymore's actions. The process is brutal, leaving the Claymores forever altered, both physically and mentally. The infusion of Yoma flesh grants them power, but also comes at a terrible price. The Claymores are marked by their striking silver eyes, a physical manifestation of the Yoma essence within them. They are ostracized by the very people they protect, feared and revered in equal measure. Despite their power, the Claymores are not invincible, constantly teetering on the brink of losing themselves to the Yoma essence within. Each battle pushes them closer to the abyss, threatening to consume their humanity and transform them into the very monsters they were created to destroy. The Claymore's power comes at a terrible cost. The Yoma essence coursing through their veins, known as Yoki, is a double-edged sword. While it grants them superhuman abilities, it also poses a constant threat to their humanity. Yoki is a primal force, fueled by rage and bloodlust, constantly tempting the Claymores to succumb to their baser instincts. Every time a Claymore uses her abilities, she risks losing herself a little more to the Yoki within. The consequences of losing control to Yoki are catastrophic, transforming a Claymore into a monstrous entity known as an awakened being. To prevent such a fate, Claymores adhere to strict limits on their Yoki usage, constantly monitoring their own internal balance. This constant struggle against their inner demons is a defining characteristic of the Claymores, shaping their worldview and influencing their interactions with both humans and their own kind. The organization that governs the Claymores maintains a strict hierarchy among its warriors, ranking them according to their strength and experience. These rankings, numbered from 1 to 47, dictate a Claymore's standing within the organization and determine the assignments they receive. Each Claymore possesses a unique fighting style and abilities, honed through years of rigorous training and combat experience. 
Some excel in close quarters combat, wielding their signature claymores with deadly precision. Others specialize in ranged attacks, manipulating their yoki to unleash devastating energy blasts or create illusions to disorient their foes. Among the Claymore's most notable abilities is their superhuman strength and speed, allowing them to move with lightning reflexes and overpower even the most formidable Yoma. Their enhanced senses grant them heightened awareness of their surroundings, enabling them to detect the faintest scent of Yoma presence or perceive subtle movements invisible to the human eye. However, failure to adhere to the organization's strict code of conduct or succumbing to the corrupting influence of Yoki can result in a demotion or even expulsion from the organization leaving a clay more vulnerable and alone in a world filled with danger. No exploration of Claymore lore would be complete without mentioning Teresa of the Faint Smile, widely regarded as the strongest Claymore to have ever lived. Her story, a poignant tale of tragedy and loss, serves as a haunting backdrop to the events of the main narrative, shaping the destinies of several key characters, most notably Claire, the series' protagonist. Teresa, ranked number one among the Claymores, was renowned for her unparalleled skill and grace in combat. Despite her deadly prowess, she possessed a gentle heart, a stark contrast to the cold and ruthless demeanor expected of Claymores. Her compassion extended even to her enemies, as demonstrated when she spared a young Claire from certain death, an act of mercy that would have profound consequences for both their lives. Teresa's decision to take Claire under her wing and shield her from the horrors of the world marked a turning point in her life. However, her newfound happiness was tragically cut short when a rogue awakened being brutally murdered her, shattering the fragile peace she had found. Teresa's death sent shockwaves through the Claymore organization and left an indelible mark on Claire, who swore vengeance against her savior's killer. At the heart of Claymore's narrative lies Claire, a young woman driven by a thirst for vengeance and a desire to honor the memory of her fallen savior, Teresa. Claire's journey is one of transformation, as she grapples with the burden of her powers, the weight of her past, and the ever-present threat of succumbing to the Yoma essence within her. Orphaned at a young age and haunted by the loss of her family to a Yoma attack, she finds herself alone and adrift in a world consumed by darkness. Her encounter with Teresa ignites a spark of hope within her, offering a glimmer of light in the midst of despair. However, Teresa's brutal murder at the hands of an awakened being shatters Claire's newfound sense of security leaving her consumed by grief and a burning desire for revenge. Determined to avenge Teresa's death, Claire joins the Claymore organization, seeking the strength to face her past and confront the monsters that haunt her nightmares. As she rises through the ranks, Claire's skills as a warrior grow, but so too does the internal struggle against the Yoma essence within her. Throughout her journey, Claire encounters a diverse cast of characters, both allies and enemies, who shape her worldview and challenge her perceptions of right and wrong. One of the most gripping arcs in the Claymore saga is the Northern Campaign, a desperate struggle for survival that pits the Claymores against an overwhelming force of awakened beings. This arc showcases the full extent of the Claymores' powers and the depths of their resolve in the face of insurmountable odds. The Northern Campaign is sparked by a series of disturbing events in the island's remote Northern territories. Reports emerge of unusually powerful Yoma, and an alarming increase in the number of awakened beings, suggesting a coordinated effort to challenge the Claymore organization's authority. As the situation escalates, the organization dispatches a force of its strongest warriors to quell the uprising, unaware of the true extent of the threat they face. Among the Claymores sent north is Claire, still haunted by Teresa's death and driven by a desire to prove herself worthy of her mentor's legacy. The campaign quickly spirals into a desperate fight for survival as the Claymores find themselves outmatched and outmaneuvered by their enemies. The Northern Campaign tests the Claymores' strength, both physically and emotionally, forcing them to confront their own mortality and the limits of their power. Claymore's impact extends beyond the realm of manga. The 2007 anime adaptation, produced by Madhouse, introduced a wider audience to the series' dark and captivating world. While the anime covers only a portion of the manga's storyline, it remains a beloved adaptation praised for its stunning visuals and faithful portrayal of the source material. The anime's animation style beautifully captures the series' blend of action and horror, 
The fight scenes are fluid and visceral, showcasing the Claymore's superhuman speed and agility as they battle grotesque Yoma and monstrous awakened beings. The animation also excels at conveying the psychological toll of the Claymore's existence, capturing their inner turmoil and the constant struggle against their demonic nature. Despite its conclusion in 2012, Claymore continues to resonate with fans worldwide. Its enduring appeal lies in its compelling characters, intricate world building, and exploration of profound themes such as identity, sacrifice, and the duality of good and evil. Claymore stands as a shining example of dark fantasy, a genre that explores the shadowy corners of the human experience and the monsters that lurk within us all. Norihiro Yagi's creation is a masterclass in world building, character development, and the art of crafting a compelling narrative that keeps readers on the edge of their seats. From its haunting medieval setting to its unforgettable characters and heart-wrenching battles, Claymore offers a unique and unforgettable reading experience. The series delves into the complexities of morality, the burden of power, and the enduring strength of the human spirit in the face of overwhelming adversity. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, hope can flicker, and even the most monstrous of creatures can find redemption. Whether you're a seasoned fan revisiting the world of Claymore, or a newcomer eager to embark on this epic journey for the first time, the series offers a rich and rewarding experience. Prepare to be captivated by its blend of action, horror, and emotional depth, and to be drawn into a world where the line between human and monster is as thin as the edge of a Claymore sword. Don't forget subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled, comment below, share, and Chidori the like button.